Hey everyone, today I want to talk about Unreal Engine 5 and Onyx Runtime. You may have heard that Unreal Engine 5 has been released, but what you may not have heard is that there is a new neural network inference plugin that is powered by Onyx Runtime. So the Epic team collaborated closely with the Microsoft Onyx Runtime team in order to make this plugin happen. The plugin supports uh, the standard Onyx model format and can run any model exported as an Onyx from a standard ML framework. This gives you the ability to run machine learning models right in your game, right in your project, in Unreal, and gives you all of the power to add real-time machine learning into your projects. If you don't already have Unreal Engine 5 installed, check out the docs and make sure that you have the appropriate specs for whichever OS you're running. And then jump over to installing Unreal. Please note, this can take a few hours depending on your network and the hardware that you have. Additionally, you need to make sure you have Visual Studio installed either 2019 or 2022. Once you have installed all of the needed software and you've confirmed that you have the specs required to run Unreal, then you can jump over to this sample project that we have to show you to inference in UE5 with Onyx Runtime. So now let's go to launch Unreal 5. Now let's just use one of the default first person templates that's provided by Unreal. We're gonna select the C++ default and we're gonna leave everything else the same. Then I'm gonna update the project name and click create. Now you can see we have this default scene. We can click play, but we don't have any materials added. Let's go into our starter content and let's add some materials. You can click and drag your mouse in order to navigate around the world. You can also click on an item and hit F on the right in order to jump over to that rather than navigating around. Okay, now we've set up a base world with some materials. Let's hit play and take a look. So I can use my navigation to kind of walk around and take a look and use it. So cool. Now that we have this base scene, let's take a look at how we can add in some neural network functionality. Now I want to add in the plugins needed in order to run neural network inference. I hit NNI. I'm going to select this. It's just letting us know that it's a beta version. We're going to have to restart, but before we do that, I also want to add the OpenCV, which is also a beta plugin. And then we will restart and save. Next, open the solution. If we click on the project file, we can see that our plugins are added here. We want to update the private dependency modules and the public dependency modules to include our plugins. Now let's start our Unreal project from the Visual Studio source. Now let's add a new C++ class. We should find neural network since we've added that. And we'll just call it my neural network and we'll hit create class.
We're able to use live coding, which is like hot reloading. So we don't have to stop and start our project in order to update. And then we can hit Control Alt F11 in order to rebuild. Now I'm gonna go back to this example we had and I'm gonna start copying and pasting in some of the stuff we need. So here we are including the different third-party libraries that we have, like our OpenCV and our network, neural network plugin. Now let's do the same for our C++ class. All right, we have successfully added a neural network class. Now you'll notice that it's not actually doing anything yet because we haven't um, added it in to our run. But we now have successfully been able to add the logic and the plugin to our project. Let's quickly go over the source code here as to how we actually are using the neural network plugin. So we're creating our network. We are setting it to a null pointer. And then when we actually call run model, when we actually implement this, what's gonna happen is we're gonna send in a CV. So this is using OpenCV image. And we're gonna send in an OpenCV image from there, we are going to create our network if it's still null. And that's because this is gonna be running on every tick and uh, we need to make sure that we have the instantiated object. We're importing our file path. Now this is just a static path. Um, you'll wanna update this to something a little bit more robust, but for testing it out, we're just gonna do a static path here. We're gonna pre-process our image. And here we're using OpenCV to resize our image, to reshape it to a one-dimensional tensor, uh, to normalize it and uh, create the vector float. And then we're returning back our T array of float. Then we're setting the input array from the pre-processed image. And then to run the network, you just simply call network run. This is gonna run our inference and give us our output. So then we can call network get output and this is gonna give us our T array float result. And then from there, we have to pre-process this back into RGB colors. And then we're returning back an RGB F color array. So that was a quick example on how to get set up to use Unreal 5 and the neural network inference plugin and using the OpenCV plugin in the new experimental features that are part of Unreal 5. Stay tuned for more examples on how to use this plugin.